Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Resort World Sentosa Martial Combat, Asia's ultimate mixed martial arts event. One of the things that we told Victor leading up to this fight is the fact that Chris is a guy that likes to pick his shots, judging from the first fight that we watched online from his War of Heroes bout. So we told him to get off early. We told him to start with a left hand, straight right, left hook, and end with a leg kick. Let's see if he does that. Well, it was Moore that unleashed the first jab, but they get into an early clinch. Right into the clinch. You see Victor already looking into that triangle position. Chris Moore's left arm is trapped behind. If Victor can throw the triangle, he's already in a good position. Locks in the leg. Chris, what Victor needs to do is he needs to lock that left leg into his knee, and Chris wisely stands. Oh. But Victor pulling the sweep off with the leg work. Very, very, very good display of aware being aware of where your opponent is at. Cleverly done it was. Just as Chris Moore thought he was getting away on the retreat. Chris looking like he's trying to work the rubber guard. One of the things that he's doing is he's clearing the head, but Victor's already postured and pulled his arm out. Very wise decision there by Victor to make sure that he keeps his posture. Now maintaining that outside underhook. What he's trying to do is he's trying to pass his leg, but as he's attempting that, Chris did a good job of replacing his guard. Again, Chris right back into that rubber guard position so popularized by Eddie Bravo. What he's trying to do is he's trying to isolate Victor's left arm. Well, he didn't isolate it very well because Victor landed six left hands to the body. Not so heavy, but certainly point scoring, and it will have taken something out of the fighter. Victor now passed the full guard. He's in that half guard position. And Chris, again, trying to utilize his flexibility. But Victor's doing a good job of keeping his head down, keeping his arms planted. One of the things about my gym is we've utilized that rubber guard technique quite often. That's a very, very, very familiar move. Now Victor falling into the Darce choke. This is one of his favorite submissions in the gym. Chris is in trouble here. He's been flipped onto his side. He needs to try to get back to his knees. If he doesn't, this is going to be the end of the fight. You see him straining here. Victor has this locked in, folks. Look for the tap. I would expect to be a tap for somebody to fall asleep here. Victor knows he has it, and it's the submission over. is locked in. Darce choked by the Darce Vader, Victor Spinson. Ray Elby's first purple belt, I might add. <laughs> Look how psyched he is. Chris Moore doesn't know what hit him. He's down there looking stunned. Superb technique from the Swede, Victor Svensson. He's having a word with his trainer and my co-commentator, Ray Elby. And there's good reason for these two guys to celebrate. Victor Svensson quickly establishing himself, not only as one of the top 170 pounders at my gym, but in the entire country of Sweden. Impressive showing with that Darce choke submission. a move you practiced in the gym. Tell us about it. How does it work? How did you finish your fighter off there? Uh, I know it's a good guy standing up, so I want to go to the ground with this guy. And uh, took him down, and then I went for the door choke. Uh, either you tap or you nap. Easy. You tap or you nap. Just become a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This is his second fight at martial combat. His third fight uh, in mixed martial arts, he's won all of them. What does the future hold for you, Victor? Uh, it's a little bit up to my manager, Ray Elby. Uh, what he says, what I'm gonna do, so it's all about him. Uh, guys, I just wanna thank a couple things. 
uh, Tiger Muay Thai, Will, Ray, Bryden, everyone else. And guys, don't forget the after part tomorrow at uh, Big, Easy. Big Easy, guys. Go to Big Easy tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. Well done, Victor. Many congratulations. Let's hope we see you again.